And my microphone isn't even on, so very professional of me. So, how are you? Yes, so I'm assuming that this is not going to any place except for uh, the private uh, streaming, the private uh, stream testing group. But if not, if, if, you know, if you're seeing this and you're not in the private stream testing group, then hello, how are you? And uh, hi, Emmy, if you're looking. Um, so yeah, I restarted. Uh, I actually updated my software, my streaming software. Uh, after I restarted, it looks like the streaming went from, the streaming speed went from 18 megabits per, se per second to like 30 I'm going to do another test just to just to see if that's legit. All right. Doing this, trying this. Yeah. 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 Pretty much doubled my my speed and probably my reliability. Now it's 31.32 instead of 18 point something. I think it may have been an issue with my computer and memory rather than my internet connection itself. Oh, hey, Allie, how are you? So I guess I'm getting out to some place other than... <laughs> other than the... Um, than just the, the private group. So nice to see you. Yeah, I... Uh, sorry, folks, I'm just doing a little bit of a test here to see what my speeds are. So I'm on my page, and I didn't really mean to, to start up the stream again. And so I'm just going to duck out here and go back to uh, go back to my private page, hopefully because I I that's what I selected as the destination. But hey guys, I'm back. Yeah, doing a little bit of a this is like the after party. So let's I don't know. Now that you're here, let's just hang out a bit. I'm not gonna I'm not just gonna blow you off here. I'm gonna stick with you. So what I did was I restarted my computer and I re I actually reinstalled some software, and my um and my um. My speed is much better um, than it was, although it shouldn't have it shouldn't have mattered because my uh, my speed was pretty good before. Uh, it's just a, a software and hardware stability thing, I think. Anyway, enough geeky talk. Anybody have any questions just to throw at me at the moment? Yes. So where am I? Am I am in? Oh, I'm I'm seeing this via restream. I'm seeing people on Facebook. Oh, Twitch. Look. Let's take. Let's find out if Twitch is actually, um, if Twitch is actually getting a picture or not. Whoever's on Twitch, if you could let us know if you're seeing a picture. And uh, Emmy, if you're there, you know you can you can come and join us if if you want to. And if not, that's quite all right because I've already released you for the day. <laughs> I've released Emmy for her day which she's already there in the in the future you know i don't know if you guys know that but she's she lives in the future she lives in australia so while i am in sunday march 24th she is uh in uh, monday march the 25th pretty fancy she has a tardis by the way so so that's the thing so uh so yeah again if you're on twitch say hello let me know if you're there and what you're seeing um I think I will just go over to Twitch and take a look. Let's say twitch.tv and take a look at what we have. All right. <laughs> yeah, something about... Um, don't cry at eight miles, uh, all right? <laughs> yeah, we don't want to hear T-Pain right now. <laughs> I, just, I just went on to the... All right, let me take a look at my own channel here. See, I'm just doing all this testing while you guys are while you guys are uh, are here. So you're my guinea pigs. Do you feel like guinea pigs? Hey, I am back. <laughs> Hello, Facebook Facebook user. Yeah, this is uh, this is me testing. Uh, I'm going to go over to Twitch to see if it actually if we have a, a black screen or not now. Oh, look, on Twitch, it's not a black screen. <laughs> so it looks like we're good. Um, and so I'm going to... So it looks like we're good. And it's got audio. Wow, so I guess maybe I fixed things um, with Twitch, looks like. And I 
it looks like I was sending a 4K stream to Twitch, or to, uh, to everybody, and Twitch was just not happy about that. But I thought I had bought restream credits for them to, to change my stream from 4K into 1080p to go out to Twitch. This is mostly me talking out loud for my, for my own sake. Uh, so I'm going to have to talk to Restream about that because they should have, um, they should have transcoded my my stream downward, and it should have worked this time. But I'll have to talk to support about that. So all of you who uh, are thinking about streaming, these are some of the things that you have to deal with when you're streaming and you're trying to stream a high quality stream. <laughs> uh, apparently, 4K is just not not happening anywhere except for YouTube. YouTube will accept a uh, a 4K stream. Facebook will not, but they transcode it otherwise so that you see, I think it's 1080p. Um, but otherwise, uh, so that's it. That's that's the technical portion of our program for today. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'll, I'll, take a, I'll take a couple of questions. I don't have my, um, I should look at this here. Um, <laughs> let me send a message for a moment here. Not just in the testing group. <laughs> See, I have a private um, group that I created just for testing, uh, streaming and stuff. And I thought that that's what I had selected. <laughs> but uh, apparently I'm, I'm getting out everywhere now. So anyway, let me turn off that browser and get back to you. So, so... You know, this will be interesting to see if uh, the stream will stay up for a while. And I don't have to do this. Anymore. <laughs> That's goofy, isn't it? I know. What can I say? I am goofy. I like being goofy. It's, it's fun to be goofy sometimes. Let's see. Who else? What else? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. All right. So we got 26. So a few people are back. We've actually got 31 people, 32, 33 people now. Um, just because. I know. And if, and if you're just joining us, the reason you're seeing me now is that I wanted to do a little test stream to see if, you know, if I could fix the problems that we were having. And uh, I selected my private group, my f private testing group, but I forgot to deselect Restream, which means that it's coming out to all of the channels. Although we did just find out that I am now on Twitch. You're having, you've got a, uh, you've got a, um, uh, an actual picture there on Twitch and audio, which is great. So that's, a, that's an improvement. I think hopefully our, our uh, technical issues are fixed, and uh, for the next Planet Bob, we will have our act together. That, no promises. <laughs> and uh, and uh, also, oh, hey, Bethany, hey, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's awesome. Yay. Happy birthday, Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> And we got Christopher asking uh, the same question three or four times. Uh, again, uh, if you have a question, if you could just ask it once every you know five or ten minutes instead of asking it over and over again, that's really helpful. Right now, we've only got 34 people in the chat, so that helps. But when we have more people, uh, then it really makes it hard to follow uh, the questions and everything. But so I am going to answer Christopher's uh, question. And the question is, have you heard this one musical series called We Sing Together? Yes, I have heard that. I have heard of that. Um, I have heard of uh, most of the stuff that was on uh, around our time. And they they were to, uh, they were, <laughs> Emmy's back in my messages now. Yeah, whoops. <laughs> Oh, what? Let's see. Oh, yeah, here we are. 
Have you met Bill Farmer? I have met Bill Farmer. Love Bill. He's so great. He's really great. And uh, as a matter of fact, I just saw him at um, I saw him at uh, one of the recent conventions, at least like a couple of months ago. And uh, and it was good to see him. He was f- he was in Dallas for a while, and it's so funny. He was he had such a great reputation. I heard about Bill Farmer after he left Dallas, and I came to Dallas. There were stories about Bill Farmer, the, the legendary Bill Farmer, and uh, how much I would like him if I met him. And it's true, <laughs> pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Um, here's another question. Uh, David asks, "Have you been to Steel City Con in Monroeville, Pennsylvania?" And I have not. Uh, Steel City, of course, is a reference to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and uh, anybody who knows me or knows my history knows that I was actually born and raised till I was 13 outside of Pittsburgh, and I miss that area. I haven't been back there in ages, and I would love to do Steel City Con and to see, you know, some relatives and stuff. That would be great. <laughs> that would be awesome. And just to get back to that area. I know it's changed so much since I was there, but, uh, but yeah, it was... Um, but yeah, it was, uh, it was, it, it was, um, very, you know, I've only been back what once or tw- twice, I think, uh, since we moved away from there when I was a kid, which is just terrible. I should be, I should be going back there. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the Pittsburgh area, I just love, I miss all of, I miss the hills a lot. You know, we have hills, we have some hills here in, in Los Angeles, so we're, we're, we're doing pretty well. But, uh, but living in Dallas was a big shock. Baytown and then Dallas, Texas, uh, because there were like no hills. San Antonio had some hills, and it's pretty good. Not quite as big, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, Chris, is, Chris, <laughs> Chris is saying, I-, I thought the stream ended, but I guess not. But, it, well, it did end. And uh, for, those who, um, for those who are just uh, dropping back in again, we got, again, 33 people. Uh, this is, was supposed to be a test stream. It was supposed to just go to my test group, my private test group that I have created, but I accidentally left restream turned on. (laughs) That means you're seeing me on my channels and I would probably be deleting this video (laughs) afterwards. Uh, so anywho, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Look at blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Uh, this. We have lots of questions here. Oh, thank you, Michael. That's very nice. Like my videos. Thank you. I, uh, again, I've been talking about making more short form videos, so hopefully you will have some more of those pretty soon. <sighs> Too many things to do. All right. Ah, uh, goodness. And here's a question from Ali Jessa. Uh, do you know Earl Fisher, who does the narration for the Barney Home video previews? If so, have you met him, or do you keep in touch with him? I've met him. I met him a long time before I actually started doing Barney. Uh, he and I worked together on various things, uh, doing voiceover, I, I believe. Yeah, uh, I think Earl and I did did some voiceover together before I even started on Barney. <clears throat> and um, And, you know... He was fun, always fun to work with. He was great. And, of course, now he... I, I think he's still doing... Uh, I think he's still doing some of the Chuck E. Cheese stuff. I think. He did after I left. And um, and so, yeah. I mean, Earl, you know, was also on... Uh, Earl was also on Barney. And it, here's, a, here's a, uh, a, a question for everybody, a trivia question. Who knows what character or characters Earl Fisher played on Barney and Friends. That's it. So I'm going to have to do a, a lozenge now. I'm starting to get a sore throat here. You got me talking so much. Ah, yes. All right. So, so again, if you have a question, um, please, uh, 
do not repeat your question more than once in uh, like five to ten minutes. That's one of those things that we ask you to do. And also keep your questions short. If you want your question to be featured uh, on, the, on screen, it's going to have to be uh, like one fairly short sentence. <laughs> because if you write a really long question, then the question is going to be this big and it's going to cover up cover me up completely instead of just being right down here. So, short question. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. Throat's getting a little dry. Yeah, a little bit of cough there. Anyway, so... Um, so, yeah, so there you go. Allie knows. Earl did play as Booker T. Bookworm in the home video. It's time for counting. That's right. Absolutely. Booker! Book him, Dano. That's right. I think you were the first one to ask. The first one to answer, I should say. And, uh... And, uh... Oh! Here's one. Here's a nice comment. Shandell, hi. Uh, Shandell says, hey, Bob, when I have my bad anxiety attacks, watching Barney helps me. That's great. I'm so glad to hear that. I hear that from a lot of people, and I'm really glad that we can help uh, folks with uh, anxiety and tax, attacks. And, I, you know, like I say, I, I have to deal with anxiety myself sometimes, and, uh, and we all have these things that help, you know, help to... Uh, help us to cope with those those situations and that's you know i'm so glad that barney can uh, can help and uh as a matter of fact chandel also asked um what kind of di dinosaur is barney <clears throat> <clears throat> something <clears throat> something allergic got into the air here i think what kind of dinosaur is Barney? Well, officially he's a T he's a T-Rex. But he's he's a Vegisaurus T-Rex. <laughs> so he doesn't eat the kids. That's that's important. You know, cuz we don't want to have to, you know, recast all the time cuz Barney ate all the children. <laughs> like like one of those big T-Rexes from Jurassic Park. That could be a problem. <laughs> yeah. Um and uh, again, as we have talked about before, if you have a specific question about footage or behind the scenes footage or pictures or anything, there's a 99.9% .9 chance that I do not have it because I don't really have much. It's really sad. I wish I did. I feel like I've let you down by not recording a whole bunch of behind the, behind the scenes stuff. So no, I do not have any photos of Earl Fisher. Now, there, somebody else might have some. It doesn't mean that those folks, those photographs don't exist. Um, somebody else may, um, somebody else may have behind the scenes photos, photos of Earl or even footage, but, um, but yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, it's, it's a tough, it's a tough thing. It, it's like 2020 hindsight, you know, you, you look back on it and uh, as I've mentioned before, um, Dennis DeShazer, and our, De, Dennis DeShazer and I have talked about, you know, uh, regretting not having shot a lot more video behind the scenes when we were doing the, the show. And having, um, like, Dennis Full, our still photographer, come in more often and just document everything. Now, on the other hand, I haven't seen all of Dennis Full's photographs, I'm sure. I bet Dennis has a whole bunch of photos that I don't know about. Uh but uh, but I should and I should contact him and, and we should talk about that. But anyway, um, maybe I'll be able to uh, show some show some of uh, Dennis Dennis's still pictures sometimes. That's a, that's that's a, that's a great idea, Bob. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Pretty sad, isn't it? I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Who else? What else is going on here? <laughs> Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, Daniel asks, uh, do you wish you guys did more on-location home videos during your vo your time voicing the character? And and uh, I have to say, uh, yeah, I think that would have been fun. I We didn't really do any uh, on-location stuff uh, while I was there. Not much of anything. There was like a, one or two things that were pretty... One or two projects, maybe one one video or something. After I left, they started realizing that they could, you know, get out and do uh, on location stuff. Um, and um, and I think they also there was also a point at which you know we uh, there were there were new features that were introduced, and uh, there were they somebody wanted to try to move Barney more toward the uh, toward the um, Sesame Street model and to have videos of like kids doing things and to, you know, just like make short videos that you could plug into the show and that sort of thing. Uh, and that format uh, didn't last long. <laughs> that's, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, I, I, I kind of understand where that was coming from, but I think that it's, I think that having the, the storyline and and letting and actually having something that's that's so engaging for really little kids to be able to get them to sit down and watch for an entire half hour, I think that was the best idea and should have just stuck with that. But I don't know, you know, I don't know what um, I don't know. You know. I wasn't a producer or anything. So, uh, but after I left, things changed a lot. So. Uh, but you know, and we'll see what ha what you know what they do with the new uh, animated series. I have no idea what that what format that's going to be. Uh, I've heard some interesting things about that show that I'm you know I'm not going to really comment on. They're not important, not really super important things or anything. But I still don't know what really the premise is, except that Barney is like going on adventures with the kids and stuff, and that's cool. So we'll see what happens. We'll just all have to watch it together, some point. <laughs> Uh, so here's, here's, here's a good question from Allie. Uh, what was the hardest job you ever did on set during the filming or behind the scenes for Barney? Well, um, there was that one time I've told the story before. There was that one time when, uh, I was, we were doing a live show and we were, you know, in this auditorium and I was up in the lighting booth and we were in the middle of the show. And the one little light that was on the copy stand where I could read my script, the bulb went out. <laughs> and most of the show was, you know, kind of dark. It wasn't really throwing light up into the up into the booth where I was. So I had to pick up my script and kind of do this and kind of <laughs> try to read it with the little bit of light that was coming from the stage. And still sound like myself and Barney, and that was that was probably that was pretty tough. Other than that, we just had a lot of fun. We really did. And uh, hello, cat. How are you? Are you doing a live signing again? Yes, I want to. I am. Um, I want to save up to be able to get something next time. Uh, so broke. I know what you mean. I feel you. So yes, we are going to have a live signing. The next, excuse me, the next live signing. Uh, the next live signing will be in six weeks on May the 5th, Sunday, May the 5th. Uh, if you go to my page on Facebook, you will see a post that has my uh, streaming schedule, and that will tell you when all of my streaming dates are. Um, that is always the place to go. My headquarters is kind of on Facebook, so if you go there, you can uh, you can check out that, and you'll see it. There's a picture of the microphone without me here, <laughs> and uh, this, the the schedule will show up in text below the microphone like that. So, so yeah. So thanks, thanks for your, your interest. And um, hey, guess what? the The stream has not dropped once since I changed the software and everything. So, I guess we got some of that at least figured out. So. Hopefully next time, um, the uh, the next Planet Bob will be 
um, will be much smoother <laughs> and the next signing will be much smoother. So there were two things that I changed to three, two or three things that I changed that I think that may have all made a difference. So, uh, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it. I think I'm just going to have to go now. I, I appreciate you folks. Uh, lots of great questions here. Um, oh, here's, here's the question. So, uh, Kat says, do you purchase the items first? Yes, you go to my store, and that would be this. Go to streamily.com, and you purchase the items, and uh, then after they are purchased, I will uh, sign them. And I'm not sure, I think maybe, I don't, I'm not sure when they charge your card. They may charge your card after the signing i'm i i can't recall but that's for that's a question really for streamily but so uh so yeah go go there streamily.com slash yes that bob west and uh you'll see all my items in my store and i've got this uh i've got this cool book oh i you know i promised to show the book in my stream and i didn't do it you know what uh i promised to do that let me go let me grab. Let me grab one of the. It's uh, the little uh, the please and say uh, please and thank you book. Let me go find that. I will be right back. It's not here. It's across the loft. Let's see where did it go. I just love it when I disappear. <laughs> Gotta go to the other end of my loft. Here we go. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the book Barney Says Please and Thank You. Isn't that cute? It is so cute. Look at that. So, this is eight inches by eight inches, and it is, you know, just a, like a paperback. And then there's like 24 pages or so, something like that. So here's the, inside you see there's, there's a pre presented to page. So that's where I would be signing. And there's, there's the title page. And I'll show you just, just a few pages here. <laughs> and Baby Bop says, we're going to have a party. Baby, we're going to have a party, says Baby Bop. It's Mr. Bear's make-believe birthday. And Barney says, oh, a party sounds like fun. Or he says, oh, a party sounds like fun, says Barney. <clears throat> says Barney. And we can practice using good manners. Isn't that great? I love these illustrations. This is illustrated by, by the way, Rick Grayson, and it's written by the magnificent Stephen White. <laughs> so we've got all these great pictures, all these great images here. Isn't that awesome? I know a lot of you have had this book in your collection, in your lives. So that's, that's as much as, I, as I'm going to show of it right now, but, uh, but yeah. I have three of these at the moment in stock, uh, and they're available in my store. And these are uh, virtually pristine. There's like a couple of just like the tiniest little dents from like a grain of salt or something. I don't know what it was, but. Um, and then a couple of places where there are, you know, one tiny, tiny little speck of, of uh, printing error or something. And so that is about it but I mean they're otherwise they are like they're brand new like they are brand new probably just like they just came out of the 
came out of the wrapper. So uh, take a look at those again on Streamily. I'll take a look here. And that is where you go. Streamily.com. Yes, that Bob West. So, um, so yeah, folks. Oh, look. Look. There's somebody from Twitch. <laughs> Yay. Hi, Fluffy. Oh, sorry. I put you over this other graphic now. We'll have to wait until that goes away. I'll put you up a second. There we go. That's going away. Hey, Fluffy. Just started following your streams. But <laughs> Jesus, we'll try this again. Pilot error. Hey, Bob, st just uh, started following your streams, but have been following you uh, since, I guess that is, the, the Peacock docuseries. Aha! Yes! Um, thanks so much. I'm glad you're actually seeing me on Twitch. We had a little technical difficulty there for a while. And that seems to be fixed now. Finally. <laughs> Finally. And it's like, okay, past and present. Soap's fast. President of the United States, Bob West. I... I don't know. I don't know that I want that. <laughs> don't know that I I would definitely want that level of of scrutiny and uh, things being thrown at me <laughs> in a virtual sense. <laughs> all right, I'm scrolling. I'm scrolling and seeing all your. <laughs> all right. So here we have lots of questions still. Um, I, <laughs> all right. Mia asks, Bob, how is Barney as your roommate? I don't know. I think he's, he's okay. What? Just, just okay? Uh, is there something wrong? Well, it's, you know, it's kind of like those, you know, the, the, the sunflowers and, and seed, seeds and stuff, you know, when you crack them. Oh, sorry. Sometimes he's sleeping. Oh. Thank you very much. And, um, no, he's pretty great. He and Jasper and Pasquale, sorry about the lozenge, but he and Jasper and Pasquale, all three of them, we have some, we have some fun. We do. We hang out. We play board games. <laughs> it's what we do when we're bored and when we're not bored. Anyway, all right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go, and just to be official... Just to be official here, I'm going to give you the outro again. <laughs> All right, and just just because it, just because it's been such a rough evening in terms of streaming and stuff, I think Barney should uh, should give everybody a, another great big hug. Barney, you, you available? Oh, absolutely. Ready? Ready for another hug? Yes. Okay. Here we go. What? <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, that was great. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for stopping by in our little impromptu test session here. And I'm so glad the streaming is fixed. Well done, Bob. Thank you. He's very supportive. What can I say? That makes him a good roommate. All right. All right, guys. Love you lots. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. And uh, check my page, my Facebook page, and uh, look for the schedule, and you'll know when I will be back. All right? Take care of yourself, and we'll talk soon. Bye.